Now, don't get me wrong, electric cars are amazing. They can reduce pollution and since electricity is cheaper than gas and also renewable, it can also be sustainable compared to conventional cars. But it is not free from problems and challenges. In this video, I am going to outline some of the problems of electric cars that are difficult to tackle. Let's begin. The first problem is the initial cost of an electric vehicle. Even the cheapest cars can go up to a cost of 15 to 20 lakh rupees or 30 to 40 thousand dollars. Although in the long run, electric cars can prove to be more cost effective as electricity is cheaper than gas. But the initial investment is quite high. Next is a problem you might be familiar with, recharge points. You may not find electric charging points as commonly as you see petrol pumps. So if you plan to visit someone in a suburb or a rural area and your car's charge runs out, well, you're out of luck. Even if you find a recharge point, it will take about four to six hours to recharge your car. In short, electric cars are unsustainable if you plan to drive long distance. The next problem is that electric cars are usually small. They are usually two seat cars. So if you want to take your family on a trip, you are out of luck unless you have multiple of these cars. Some of the other small problems are similar like shortage of electricity in cities and a lower amount of choices regarding these cars. But the biggest problem, perhaps, is the method of production of electricity for these cars. Electricity itself is non-polluting, but it is not like oil and coal that if you dig the earth, you will find electricity. It needs to be produced. One method is geothermal energy by using the heat of the earth. I won't get too technical on you, but the thing to know is that this method of producing electricity does cause pollution. You can see some other methods of deriving electricity in the pie chart and how much of the share of total electricity they account. All in all, the picture is not that promising. Thus, electric cars are a better mode of transport than conventional vehicles in regard to pollution, no doubt, but not as good as we think. At this point, I present forth a very disturbing statistic. In urban areas, 50% to 90% of all air pollutants are released from cars and other automobiles. This must be a warning for us that we are destroying our earth, our very own home. To further prevent this, we must adopt some measures like using bicycles and walking to places instead of driving wherever possible. Carpooling and taking buses instead of going to places in our own cars is also a great thing. Basically, reducing emissions must be our goal. Finally, here is a summary of all the problems of electric cars we saw today. If you liked this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and also share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more such videos every Thursday. Thanks for watching.